IBM Flex System Manager's mission is to provide a simplified experience in managing physical and virtual resources across compute, storage, network, and optimizing them so customer workloads can thrive. Let's take a look at how the new FSM Explorer view helps achieve that mission. I open the FSM Explorer view, and as I move my mouse around, I get a fairly rich understanding of my whole Flex chassis without a single mouse click. Since I also want to understand how other resources are doing, I move to the status area where I see a list of problem systems and as I move my mouse I can see detailed status for each system. Next to status is jobs where I can mouse over to view status for any job I've run like deploying a workload, installing firmware, relocating virtual servers, and see its progress. All of this I've done with zero clicks. Now with one click I can select to view virtual, network, and storage views. With my virtual view, I can see the hosts, and since Flex System Manager can relocate virtual servers across systems and chassis, I can click all virtual servers to see all the virtual servers across the hosts in one list. While I'm here, I might remember that I need to deploy a new workload. Let's do that. I mouse over the system menu and click Deploy Virtual Appliance. This wizard comes right up, and I select the virtual appliance I want to deploy. Once I select the image, the wizard uses the built-in metadata to help me determine where I can deploy it. I choose to deploy to this system pool. The wizard automatically selects the storage and network resources based on that metadata. But as you can see, I can customize the defaults or just click Next. The product page lets ISVs ask customers how they want their workload customized. Once I'm finished, I select to either schedule or run the deploy now. I close the Deploy Browser page and get back to the FSM Explorer view. Pretty quickly I see the virtual server get created, and then I can keep an eye on the deploy progress as the image is deployed and customized. Now let's switch to a densely populated environment filled with integrated storage nodes, x86 and power compute nodes that are virtualized with VMware, KVM, and PowerVM. Here you can see the tree view gives you instant access to all your hardware. In the virtual view, you can see those virtualized compute nodes, including real-time CPU utilization, available processor and memory details. From one view, I can control VMware, KVM, Hyper-V, and PowerVM virtual environments. For the network view, we asked network admins what resources they needed to see to make sure that their business workloads had the network they needed. As a result, the network view shows physical and virtual switches, along with subnets, VLANs, and logical networks. We asked storage admins the same thing. So in the storage view, I can see all my storage systems, whether they're integrated storage nodes, external V7000s, or other IBM storage, including XIV, DS8000, and more. I can also see my storage fabrics, as well as all the storage pools available to use. But now let's focus on the details of a single compute node. Here I'm going to use the finder because at times I'll not know what chassis a server is in. I enter a single character and the finder shows instant results for matching resources and now for groups and tasks as well. Notice I can mouse over each suggestion to make sure I click the one I want to view. Since I selected a compute node, it shows me the node in the chassis it's located in. When I double click the compute node, I see the details view, where status and inventory data is a single click away. I can view the hardware details, installed firmware and software, or I can view the virtual servers running in this compute node. Now notice this is the virtual server that the workload we deployed is running in. Since the whole server is in a warning state, I can relocate this workload until I understand what the compute node is doing. Now since this power compute node is in a system pool, even server-wide actions like enter maintenance mode and relocate all virtual servers will follow the system pool policies to ensure the workloads move to other compute nodes in the pool with no downtime. In the end, IBM Flex System Manager's Explorer view integrates compute, storage, network, and virtualization management into one place. And as you saw, the ability to deploy workloads and then monitor and maintain the resources that those workloads depend on is only a click away.